Good morning, everyone. I am here, and this is the last day for me to do Cracktober. Lori's coming on tomorrow, but today we are making beef and sweet potato chili. Y'all, I'm excited about this. I love me some sweet potatoes. So I am really, really excited. So we're just gonna make this really fast. It, this really won't take long. I think the difference between this, the twist, is definitely the sweet potatoes. Have you ever had sweet potatoes in your chili? I have not, so I'm excited about it. Um, I already ground my beef, peppers, and onions, and garlic right here, so that's already in there. So I decided, because my oven's way over there, I can't do that on mine. So we're gonna go ahead and cut some sweet potatoes. I may have a few more sweet potatoes. This calls for two medium sweet potatoes peeled and cut up. Now I have some left over from my other recipe that I made a week ago. And so I am just going to make cut those up. And y'all, have you ever had the um, chilies at Wendy's? I have, and I, have, I used to eat it a long time ago. I have not had it in forever, but this is gonna stop you from going through the drive-thru is what it's gonna do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start making things and again, this is from the Slow Cooker Volume 2. You need this. If you do not have this, go to the link and order it. Um, great Christmas gifts. Oh my goodness, y'all. If you are looking for good Christmas gifts, this is what you want. You want, you want to um, you want to grab this for Christmas gifts. Or, you know, wedding gifts. I have a shower, wedding shower, and I'm kind of deciding what do you think I should give. Um, I have one of the girls in our in our uh, college ministry, she's getting married. What do you think that I should get her? What is a good gift for her out of the PPP shop? Because there's so many. I definitely leaning on the planner because, well, I just think the planner is a game changer, especially for new wives. What do you think? I mean, are you are you thinking that? Um, good morning from Waco, Texas. Hey, Mary. Hey, Melissa. Good morning. Good morning, Angela. Hey, Deb. My kids don't like sweet potatoes. Well, you know if. That's, that's really rough. Like, I can't imagine not liking sweet potatoes. Like, but my daughter is not a big fan either. So I am, I'm kind of like in the same boat as you. Um, you can probably just, you know, skip the potatoes, you know, and just not make it. Just make regular chili tonight. You don't have to use that, um, this specific recipe, but at least you have, you know what you're making. Cause you know, that's always a struggle, right? In life, um, in life there, it's always a struggle on grabbing, um, what, what are you going to make for dinner? You know, I mean, we make a menu. We have the menu from the PPP. We do that all that work for you because, well, our PPP team is just awesome. So, um, yeah, you can, all that work is done for you. You don't have to guess what's, but you don't have to make everything that we have on there. So that's what's great. Y'all, I am going to be honest, cutting sweet potatoes is going to be the death of me. I really like just putting them in an oven and just letting them cook and then mashing them, but this calls for this. So I'm excited about this because this is just such a different recipe. I'm really kind of curious on how it's gonna be juicy because it doesn't have any tomato juice or what I use instead of tomato soup and chili is I usually use like the V8 tomato juice. Um, I The V8, whatever it is, because uh, it's cheaper and um, I feel like it's better. I'm not a huge canned soup fan. So this is great because what you can do is you can make this and if you don't eat it all, you can freeze it, especially on cold days, it is freezing. We woke up to cold weather here in Alabama, so. Um, okay, so any questions? Good morning, Linda. I think the planner is a great idea. Victoria, yeah, I'm just thinking that that's the best thing because, well, I just think that the planner is just, it's so good for, especially newly married girls. You know, you have to learn how to, you're learning to get married, which is hard. You have two centers coming in one house. That's a hard, difficult cha challenge right there. And then um, on top of that, ooh, that potato's not good. Um, well, that kind of made my decision. I thought I was gonna have too many sweet potatoes, but that potato is not good at all. Um, yeah, I kind of waited. I, I bought some more sweet potatoes at the farmer's market just in case um, these weren't good. And I really, really love to support a farmer's market and grab all this stuff. Actually, the peppers and onions in here are all from the farmer's market. I just buy them and I freeze them, cut them up and freeze them, and it's awesome. Um, I'm having a real struggle with this, as you can tell, because I'm on Facebook Live, because that's how it always works. Nothing is ever easy, so. Okay, so if you share this video, you will be entered in for a $20 Amazon gift card. So make sure you share this video, especially with somebody who you, I said this before, but if you want one of these, this slow cooker about meal, meal plan, or planner or anything, make sure you share this and say, hey, so and so, I know you usually get me gifts for Christmas that are, you know, but this is something I really, really want. And then you're getting something that you want, you're helping them and you're helping yourself. So, okay, this potato is so hard. And I think my knife needed to be sharpened and that's also a problem. 
Okay, so we got the sweet potatoes done. Yay! Okay, so all we do is we have the two pounds of ground beef. I did it a pound and a half just because I'm trying to save money on, on things, so I kind of cut that a little. And green peppers, onions, garlic. I have all that in there. There's my sweet potatoes, and then this is my fire roasted. I love this because I'm using all organic stuff. I'm using my organic. Everything I have in this is organic, so I am excited about that. That's something I'm passionate about. So I'm using the Marglen fire roasted. Make sure you use those if you can. That would be awesome. And then you just kind of put that in there. If you have chili roasted, those are good too. I didn't have any in my pantry. I like to have the chili roasted as well. And then we're gonna do three tablespoons of chili powder, which I kind of stressed out last night because y'all, I'm a late planner and I like looked last night at 10 o'clock at night to see if I had everything in stock in my, in my pantry. And um, yeah, I was out of chili powder. I was like, that's not gonna be enough chili powder. That's all I had left. And then I thankfully looked at my spices that I have them in my stockpile. And thankfully I bought one last time I went to Sprouts when they were buy one, get one free. So we are gonna open this baby up. Okay, so shared, I would be so grateful. Oh, Amy, I hope you win. I bought 50 pounds of sweet potatoes last week. Sue, I am so jealous. Did you buy it from your local farmer's market? I know there's a place that my daughter used to go to and they had it and that's what I want. That way I can, like, I just cook them all and then you just freeze them to the recipes. We had sweet potato casserole this week. I love me some sweet potato casserole, y'all, I'm not gonna lie. This is one of my favorite things. So I've been eating that all week and my husband kind of laughed because we're, we're having sweet potatoes again, but I'm like, hey, you can never, they're so good for you, y'all. Did you know that? Did you know sweet potatoes are good for your stomach? Um, I don't know where I heard that and if it's not true, don't tell me because I wanna keep on believing it because I just keep on like loving me some sweet potatoes. Okay, there we go. Okay, it's chili powder, three tablespoons of chili powder. And then we're just gonna kinda, okay, so I'm gonna, I'm kinda questionable about this because it's not really that juicy. Um, I do not know why, what I did wrong, but okay, so I'm probably gonna throw some juice in this just because I feel like it needs some. So I may throw some juice in this just to make it chili-ish. Um, I was wondering if that was gonna be enough with that, all that beef um, in that little bit. I'm not making sure I'm reading the directions like a bajillion times. Um, so yeah, I probably will add some juice in this, but you don't have to. This is probably, it's probably good just the way it is. I know Cherie and Misty work really hard on our recipes and try them out like a bajillion times to make sure they're good and they cook well and everything just for y'all. So we're just gonna kind of put that around, but I want mine to be juicy. So I'm gonna kind of put some juice in here. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably put some tomato juice. Let me see here. I'll probably put this in here. Yeah, I usually use V8. Um, making sure it's not expired. It's been a while since I made chili. It's been a minute. Okay, so is there any questions? Okay, again, this is from the Slow Cooker Volume 2. Again, you need to get this for your gifts. This is a great gift idea. And this is beef and sweet potato chili. So this is an easy meal. Y'all, it didn't take me long at all. And it's probably great the way it is. And I actually may just leave it like it is for a while and just to see how it turns out. Um, I'm excited about this. This looks amazing to me. I love me some sweet potatoes. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Okay, y'all, that's it. It took me all of like, what, 10 minutes. I did have the ground beef already grounded just because, um, yeah, because it was easier to do on Facebook Live. So that's done, dinner's done. I don't have to worry about dinner tonight. So I'm really excited. Um, okay, so again, from the slow cooker, grab it, go to the link. You need this, share this with friends. Again, if you, um, thank you. So thank you, Della. So Chris Della, the liquid also increases in the slow cooker. So we're just gonna let that liquid go in. We're gonna see how it goes. I'm sure it's completely fine. Um, and so I'm just gonna keep an eye on it because I'm at home, but it's fine. I know it's fine. I know it's fine. So, um, okay, y'all have a great day. Again, if you have any questions, let us know. Go to the link to grab this. Also, if you're looking for a Christmas gift for somebody, this is the perfect gift. This and the planner, you need this. The planner, I would get the planner now while you can, while it's in stock. So, um, but that is my advice. So thank you, Deb, so much for sharing. We appreciate it so much. And y'all have a fabulous Thursday. Have a great day. Bye.